Om Shanti. Welcome to 15th of November Scott Gilbert Singh. How do we do a service or how do we behave like a trustee? This is what we're going to understand today because anything which is mine, it leads to a trouble or it leads to a problem or it leads to, let's say, chaining our own life or putting our life into chains or putting our life into limitations and this is what we're going to learn in today's godly blessing that how do we come out of these burdens or these chains which we've created on our own because of lack of knowledge so god says may you do service as a trustee now service doesn't just mean that it's something different from our daily chores when we are working in a house as a maid servant when we are cleaning our own house when we are working in somebody else's house or we are working in an office or in a business place or anywhere, even for the government, we are actually at service. It's not something which we do separately from our work. So that's why God says, may you do service as a trustee by renouncing any consciousness of mine and become a constantly contented soul. Now the word mine is very important, which is what we're going to explore here. While living with your family, God explains, and doing service, always remember, I am a trustee, a server. Nothing belongs to me, none of the things, none of the people, none of the relations, they belong to me. Because if anything belongs to me, I generate expectations. So we are trying to get rid of expectations and this is the method. It doesn't mean that you hate them or you don't like them. It means that you give them love, you give them guidance. You give them support but when you are a trustee you don't expect any returns because returns are not for you right that's what god says when you do not have any consciousness of mind while doing service you can become content so when a trustee is taking care of an organization and the organization is making some generation of funds or is earning some money it doesn't belong to the trustee right Similarly over here, when you are serving, when you are helping your relatives, your friends, your family, your, in your workplace, even though you are earning a salary, you don't expect people to give you any name fame. You don't expect people to give you any kind of appraisal. And that's where you are able to do your work at 100% complete enthusiasm. But when the expectation clause comes in, I did so much, what's the return? I did this. There's no appreciation and that's where the mine comes because mine means my work, my talent, my things, my methods, my ideas, my money. Whereas God says, how is it yours? Even your talents are not yours. They have been given by me. So become a trustee of even those things. Then God says, when there is some consciousness of mine, you get disturbed and think, my child does this. It's an example which God is giving. Let's say you're a father or mother and you see your child doing certain acts which you don't like and you say like, my child does this. And then there's sadness, there's lack of warmth, you become cold-hearted or you tend to have a problem of communicating with the child or you start distancing yourself from the child. And that's where the problem comes in. There's just one word, mine, is leading to this problem. So God says, become a trustee. They're not yours, they're actually mine, but they are playing a part on this world drama stage as your child, but you're supposed to take care of them without having any kind of expectations in their acts or what they do in their life. When there is a consciousness, consciousness, consciousness sorry, when there is the consciousness of mine, you get disturbed, whereas when you have the consciousness of yours, that means God, this is all yours, they are yours, Things are yours, money is yours, wealth is yours, it's not mine, you guide me how to take care of it. Yours, tera, in Hindi, yours, you are able to swim, terna, to swim, so tera leads to terna. That means we are able to swim nicely, we are able to pass through any kind of tests which are sent by God to us easily. To say yours Yours means to be in your self-respect. Why? Because we have learned in Brahma Kumaris that our first self-respect is I am a soul. That is the truth. Self means who is the self? The soul, not the body. 
self respect means giving respect to the soul and the soul knows very well that nothing on this earth belongs to it soul came from the world beyond in triloka the first world where we did not have any things not even this body not even this voice nothing was there so what belongs to me nothing belongs to me we are here playing an act and everything belongs to god so yours yours means to be in self respect and to say mine mine means to have arrogance because it leads to arrogance it leads to disturbance it leads to mood swings it leads to sadness and many more things when we say that something is mine and something happens to it you know what happens then what happens to your mood so god says the best way to be stable and best way to go into liberation is to give everything to you that means yours yours that means god everything is yours you guide me how to take care of it i am just a trustee i don't expect anything from it how light will you become when you think like that to learn more things about this in detail do visit the brahma kumari center om shanti with this